Good morning viewers, you're watching Darussalam TV News with me Safira Az-Zahra on 7th of March 2022. We will bring you the most updated news all around Indonesia. This time, we will be delivering the news about the national capital relocation. Finally, the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia DPRRY stipulate the draft law of the national capital to become the state capital law. Thus, the official transfer of the national capital from Jakarta to East Kalimantan was carried out. In this law also proved that the name of the national capital will be changed to Nusantara. And this, the new capital, will be designated as the symbol of the country. Minister of Bapenas, Suharso Manowafa, said that the government will make preparation and relocation gradually. The national capital project is carried out long-term development. According to Suharso, the relocation of the national capital was passed on careful consideration the advantage of this Kalimantan region are in line with the new economic gravity. And currently, East Kalimantan is claimed to have a strategic location and minimal disasters. The relocation of the capital city to East Kalimantan is planned to be carried out in the first semester of 2024 or on August 16, 2024. Later, in 2025 until 2035, the focus of the development of the national capital is the completion of relocation. At this stage, the government began to attract private parties to build their building in the national capital area. The government has also begun to draw up derivative rules for the state capital law, UUIKN. These derivative regulations consist of two government regulations, three re presidential regulations, or we call it per press, and three ministerial or institutional regulations. Deputy I for the Presidential Chief of Staff KSP Fabri Colvin said that the two government regulations regulate the authority of regional governments, specifically for the national capital, funding and budget. Meanwhile, the three presidential regulations consist the authority of the state capital the tales of the master plan for the state capital, and the national strategic area of the state capital. Meanwhile, the three ministerial or institutional regulations are regulations of Minister of National Development Planning or BAPINAS concerning KPBU specifically for the state capital. Minister of Finance Regulations concerning KPBU specifically for the state capital and LKPP Regulations concerning the procurement of goods and services specifically for the state capital. That the news for today. Follow the next update on Darussalam TV News. I am Sefira Zara. Have a good day and see you soon.